So the first half for episode 90 of Race, that right there was definitely some pretty intense stuff. Like we have Kyle's mother, you know, obviously, you know, she is so upset. And we have her, you know, yelling at Kayo and then then yelling at Satru and his mother. And of course, now, you know, they're asking her if she like even bother, you know, looking for Kayo after three days. And we have her mother getting getting so angry right now that we have her grabbing, like grabbing this shovel. And we see her now actually taking a swing at Satru's mom. And that right there, you know, just like completely shocked me. You know, I like, like to me, I had no idea she would like go that far, but thank God for Asatru and Kayo because not only did they, you know, uh, save the day by by, uh, by protecting, you know, Asatru's mom because that right there really could have killed her, you know, easily. But but luckily we, we we also had them, you know, like also exposing her for 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 the uh, for the monster that she is. But you see now that that shovel it did graze, you know, Asatru's mother. Because we can see, you know, some blood running down her face. And so right now, finally, we have that, we have that bureau, you know, like the uh, child protective services, you know, finally they come and we see now, you know, Kayo's mom, she was like trying so hard to like pretty much get them in trouble, even though, you know, she was like the monster here. And so right now when, when, uh, when the bureau wouldn't, wouldn't do anything, you know, to like saw true and his mother because, you know, apparently she wants to like get them jail for kidnapping, even though right now she's like, right now she is, uh, clearly being exposed. Well, uh, we, we have her getting ready to like go, go, go to the police because she was like, you know, they'll do something. And right now, well, uh, we, we, we have her, you know, dragging, you know, Kayo away. And right now, you know, like, I like, I was thinking if, if they let her get away, there is no way Kayo's like come back alive. But then we have there, then we have, you know, Kayo, a Satoru teacher. He actually came there with like somebody else. And that right there was a uh, Kayo's grandmother at to me, you know, learn about Kyle's mom, you know, about uh, what, what she's been through. To be honest, I did not feel bad for her because she had been a monster in this series. So there is no way I can feel bad, you know, like bad for her, e even after, you know, learn about her. Because we see now that it was thanks to, you know, uh, Kyle's grandmother that, uh, that, uh, what's, what was Kyle's mom named? Like, uh, Akimi, something like that, but but apparently she was in a, a very abusive relationship with Kyle's father because it, because like in a flashback we can see you know Kyle's mom you know uh punching her like uh, I mean we can see Kyle's father punching you know Kyle's mom in the face and then we have her you know beating by like, beating her with an umbrella and Kyle herself was like shielding her you know like to a to protect her mother and that right there was like definitely very upset to see but uh but then but then that that's like like i believe that that was the uh the final straw for kyle's grandmother because she was the one who had forced you know kyle's mom to actually get a divorce and and so because of that you know that that right there led to you know kyle's mom raising her alone and, 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 and that would also means that that guy that we saw, you know, like, like maybe once or twice, that right there was like her no good boyfriend and her father. But the main reason why, you know, uh, Kyle's mom starts to abuse her because Kyle had the eyes of her dad. And whenever, you know, like Kyle looked at her or she felt that whenever Kyle looked at her, she saw, you know, her ex and that right there just like drove her over the edge. And, and that, and that, and then, and that right there is what led to Kyle, you know, starting start, start to get abused. And, and so, so then we have, you know, Kyle's mom, she's now breaking down crying, but Satri wasn't buying it and neither was Kyle. And so right now, you know, Kyle was like going off to actually go live with her grandmother. And so we see, you know, like her and Satru, they, they were, they were uh, having this goodbye. And that right there was like definitely, you know, pretty upsetting because to be honest, I actually, you know, wanted Kyle, you know, to like stick around. But of course her getting far, far away from this town, that right there would be, you know, the, uh, would be the best option because this killer, he is still at large. 
And so right now we have her and Sartre saying goodbye. And and and, uh, and, and as she would get in the car with her teacher and her grandmother, you know, once again, we, we, we were like hearing that story, you know, like, uh, like uh, to be honest, you know, her story actually has the real name of the series, you know, A Town Without Me. And so right now, you know, like that was playing. We, we have, you know, Sartre, you know, showing her those myths she made. And then, and then when the car was like driving off, we have Sartre, you know, like walking after and then running after it. And, and, and like, and just, and just seeing Kyle leaving after being so important in the series for so long, to me, it was like definitely pretty upsetting because I will admit, I will definitely miss like the, I will definitely miss the friendship and the, uh, and the interaction between her and Sartre because to me, that right there was like, that right there was the whole main point of this. And we even see now that the following day of school, you know, Sartre, he was like, he was still, you know, like, like, pretty, like he, he was still feeling down about this because Kyle was now gone. But of course now that he, uh, and, and we see now that like Sartre, like, like, uh, e even though he did meant to save Kyle, his job was like not done yet because now he had to say if, you know, now, now, now he had to say if, you know, I, uh, and, uh, Hiromi. And so right now he was like thinking how in the world could he like, you know, get to know Aya because of course he knows about her because he knows her future, but at the same time, she knows nothing about him. And, and with Hiromi, you know, it's definitely a lot easier because of course, you know, these two are, these two are like already friends. And of course, you know, that make it, you know, that, that right there make it a whole lot easier for Satoru to actually look out for him. And so right now he was thinking, how in the world could he get, you know, like how in the world could he get to know Aya or at least, you know, like get them to be friends. And so at first, you know, he had went to his mother and, and like, she was like, you know, like, like, she, like, she, like, uh, check me straight for, you know, let's be friends. But of course that right there wouldn't really work. And so right now his, uh, his best option was, was like, was, uh, just to like watch them and, and to see what they do. And so, and so Aya, she's like, uh, Aya actually hangs around with Yuki a lot. And then, you know, after that, she goes to her cram school. And then, you know, after cram school, she goes home. And with Hiromi, you know, we, uh, we saw, you know, Sartre, Hiromi, and Kenya, they were all hanging out, you know, like normal stuff. And so right now, Aya here was like the biggest mystery because he still had no idea how to approach her. And so right now, he was like just following her. And that right there, you know, led to Sartre's mom, you know, like spotting them. And we see her now struggling. Yes, a, a, a yokai was like, was, was, uh, was struggling, you know, carrying some groceries. And so now Sartre had to help her, which means he could not follow Aya, you know, any longer. And, and, but, uh, but luckily, you know, both of them got saved because their bags, like, you know, they, they were like still pretty heavy, but luckily, you know, once again, we, we have the, uh, the we have the teacher, you know, who actually came to like save the day. And we see now that, that because of that, he actually, what was like giving them a lift back to their home. And so right now with, uh, with Sartre's mom falling asleep, that right there was like the perfect, uh, that right there was the, uh, Perfect opportunity for for him and Sartre, you know, to to uh do some talking. Oh, and 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 also, you know, like even though even though I definitely have my doubts about the teacher, I will say that you know it's definitely somewhat nice to see you know Sartre getting like close to him because right now Sartre is is, is like is, is uh looking at him like a father figure because we have the uh. We have what the teacher said about, you know, not, not letting his efforts, you know, in, in, uh, in, in tragedy, you know, that right there was like a, that right there was definitely, you know, a, a pretty, you know, powerful line, but, but we have Sartu and, and the, uh, and the teacher talking, you know, Sartu had like came to him for advice about, you know, uh, Sartu was like getting advice from him about becoming friends with like someone who, who, uh, who doesn't know you. And we learn now that this teacher, he's like pretty cautious because he's been hurt, you know, one time in the past. And right now he does not want to bring that again. So right now this guy was like definitely cautious, like, like all the time. And so because of that, you know, he, he was like, you know, like, uh, telling Sartre 
to like pretty much just charm her because that right there, you know, will like would uh, possibly work. And then we see now Sarge, we notice like some kind of handkerchief hanging out of, of this compartment. And we see now that when Sartre had like pulled it out, we have we have all this candy falling out of nowhere. And so right now, right now we have, we have the teacher claiming that you know this right here was because of like three years ago when he quit smoking. You know, eating candy became you know his, his like next habit because that right there was like helping him. But for some reason, I can't fully buy that now i would now I, I now 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 personally i will definitely give him the uh the benefit of the doubt but for some reason i cannot believe that right there was like the that like like to me i can't believe that right there is the only reason why you you know he uh, he had he had all that candy but but then we have you know start to eat a piece and then then we have uh you know then we have his mother who finally woke up and she and she was also eating a piece as well and so now the uh now the following day where where we have you know uh Hiromi getting ready to leave you know saw true was like you know hold up I'll come with you and that's when Kenya you know pointed out that you know now now he's seeing like uh Hiromi's guardian just to like how he was with Kaya and so right now he like so right now Kenya want to want to talk to saw true and learn about what's going on and so we see now that when it went back in the hall to talk, you know, uh, right, right, right now, you know, uh, Sancho, he definitely couldn't tell him everything. But of course, he like, you know, let him in because right now, just just like how King has said, if this right here is a part two, you know, uh, if different here is a part two, like, you know, like, uh, like back with Kyle, then of course, King wants to help because this guy is definitely, you know, a good friend, even though he definitely seems way too smart for like his own good. And so, so because of that, you know, uh, Sartre took them back to the bus and, 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 and that, that that's when Sartre, you know, finally brings up that, uh, that book bag, you know, once again, that had like all that stuff in it. And so Sartre was like, you know, he believed that that right there, you know, belonged to like some kind of killer who like targets kids because obviously he cannot tell him, you know, you know, like obviously Sartre cannot tell him, like, he, he cannot tell them about the future where, you know, Aya and Hiromi are like the uh, next victims. And so right now, you know, when like, when, uh, when Sartre was like giving these, you know, like vague details, you know, like just telling him, you know, how things, you know, did the killer going around like that, you know, obviously, you know, that they, 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 they have some, you know, like, like pretty important doubts, but at the same time, they definitely, you know, like want to believe Sartre and be there for him. And then we have Hiromi, who I still cannot believe was a boy, but at the same time, he was, he was like, he, uh, he definitely, you know, wants to believe in Sartre as well. And of course, if there's like anything he could do, he will like definitely help him. And so right now he, he had both Kenya and Sartre. I mean, he, he has Kenya and, uh, Hiromi, you know, on his side now. And so, of course, you know, when, when they were, when they were, uh, where, where, where we have the, you know, like, uh, splitting ways, we, we have, you know, Sartre thinking back, thinking back on everything that happened, like how 18 years ago, where he said that, like, he, uh, that he, uh, that he could have saved Kayo, he said he, he did not want to experience anything like that again. And so right now, he is definitely, you know, determined to, like, to, uh, the catch this killer. And of course, he just stop him in his tracks. And so then the uh, then the following day, you know, there was like some place where Sautru, what one day Kenya and and uh, Hiromi. Now we have no idea where that is, but then we have the other two friends who also, you know, like want to do something. But of course, Sautru turned him down because of course now, you know, right now he has, he has, to, he has to take care of the business. But but now we have these two, you know, like now like following him. And at the same time, we have that girl who was like who was a. Uh, who was trying to like frame Kyle and got exposed, you know, like uh, for some reason she now wants to follow them because there is no way like they they would show her for nothing. So I do wonder what what is this girl planning now because it, because it is possible that like maybe she also you know wants like wants to expose you know like uh Sasha or something because maybe she does have like some kind of grudge against them. I I mean I mean, I mean against him, but to me it definitely seems rather weird, but. But 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 uh, right now I'm definitely good to see you know one the world 
of what in the world are they playing, you know, with, 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 uh, with her character. But as always, this this uh this episode to me was like definitely great. I loved it. You like like I said, this series is definitely like the uh the best show of the season, hands down. But as always, let me know what you guys thought. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Put it because it will us me out. And as always, you guys take it easy. I will see you all next time.